Hello everybody, welcome back. Minor Mountain here. We are playing some Pixel Dungeon today. We are going after Yog Zua. He is the uh, last boss in the game, level 25 of the game. And we're gonna try to beat him right now. He's got some he's got some help. He's got some fists you'll see here that are floating around. I'm gonna go through the items here, see what we got. Potion of invisibility, that's good, so you don't get detected. Yog Zua has some immunities. He's immune to grim weapons. He's immune to terror, amok, charmed, sleep, burning, toxic gas, and scroll of psionic blast. Um, and if you hit him, he'll spawn a basically a god larva that has 25 hit points. He won't hit you, but they will. Uh, the only way to not get one of these to, to spawn is to hit him with a uh, wand. Any other sort of attack will spawn one of these larvae. Okay, switching up the rings here. He, there's two fists. There's, there's a green one and there's an orange one or yellow one. The green one is the Rotting Fist. It has 300 hit points and will not drop anything if you if you kill it. Um, you don't have to defeat these fists or the larva. You only have to defeat Yogg to get the key to get out of here. Uh, so I just tried going for it, but these fists move in pretty quickly. Um, Ring of Shadows. Oh, I had to use the the Dew Jar there. I, Lost track of my health, but that's why we got it. That's why we got it. So these fists move in on me pretty good, pretty fast. So I, I kind of try to stick with it, but not hurting him too much. And, and these enemies are just just uh, multiplying. So I decide it's probably time to get out of here. Scroll the wipeout. Well. Didn't work on the fist, but it worked on the larva. Good to know. I didn't think it was going to work on the fists. All right, these guys are just attacking me. I've only got three of these, two of these now, potions of healing, and they're hitting me pretty good. So uh, I got to change up my strategy here. I'm just getting wrecked. This green fist. Decide potion of healing and see how much I get hit for right here. Yeah, if I wouldn't have done that, I would have been dead right there. I'm gonna move to a place where this uh, orange fist, burning fist, can't get me. The, the burning fist is uh, he's all he won't drop anything either, but he's only got 200 health, so I'm going after the big one now. All right, one of them out of the way. So obviously, the burning fist is going to be immune. The fire and Yogg is too, and I didn't know that at the time, so you'll see me throw some stuff at him. That wand I have is a wand of firebolt, so that's not gonna help me much. Potion healing, last one. And bomb, that hurt him. Paralyzed him, good stuff. Throw another bomb. So, yeah, at this point, I'm deciding, yeah, I'm just gonna take out that other fist because. They inflict way too much damage and I can hurt them pretty good so at this point I, I know I can't just stand there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yogg while that burning fist is coming after me that'll take me out quicker than anything look at that potion of toxic gas will hurt the burning fist this is very useful especially the way I'm attacking him here try to keep an eye on him potions of mind vision scroll of magic mapping those are two useful things to have in this level uh, potions of invisibility are really good. That's actually how one of the better ways to like defeat Yogg without defeating the fists. I mean, obviously you, you become visible once you once you uh, uh, attack, but but if you can drink one after you you kill Yogg, you can pick up the key and get out without any of the enemies detecting you because those larvae will spawn every time you hit him. And, uh, yeah, I think I've said they've, they've only got 25 hit points, so you can usually kill them in one hit, but, um, and they are affected by a fire and a potion of toxic gas, so if that's going on around him while you're, like, range attacking him, by the time those larvae get to you, they're gonna be, you know, half dead, maybe? I, I don't know. I mean, some of their, some of their hit points will be gone, so it'll weaken them some, and that's... You know, that's the definition of capitalizing. Every little thing you can do to help yourself 
in this situation. I've been here many times. Yogg has beat me a lot. Alright, so here comes the burning fist. He's about done. He only has 200, so he's only got like 50 or so hit points left, so I'm pretty sure I can take him. I, I know the, the liquid flame's not going to work on him, so we're not going to go there. Toxic gas seems to hurt him, but I'm going to save it because he's like a sliver, like a quarter of health, so that's that's two hits, two, three hits, and I can take him out, so... And that, he's still in, in the toxic gas, so... If, if I just kind of bide my time, it'll hurt him more. I notice my weapon is about to break. I don't want that happening while I'm fighting these guys, so while I got a little time here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, enchant it. Luckily, it wasn't a grim enchantment. But I do have another weapon I could switch to there. Alright, we're just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here with him. Take him out. Boom. Alright. It's just down to me and Yogg. Oop, hey, don't, don't run into the, the toxic gas cloud. That hurts. <laughs> so... So we got, I think we're going to keep the toxic gas up around Yogg, just to weaken those uh, those larvae, God's larvae they call them. Yogg is some sort of failed god, I guess. Cell to exam, here we go. Uh, Yogg is an old god, powerful entity from the realm's chaos. Century ago, the ancient dwarves barely won the war against the armies of demons, but were unable to keep the god itself, kill the god itself. Instead, they imprisoned it in the walls below their city, believing it was too weak to ever rise again. Yogg is passive. He does not have an attack. So after you defeat those fists, the only thing he can do is produce larva, which you can kill pretty easily. Uh, Wanda Flock would be a good thing to have right here. You don't, so... <laughs> we'll do without. So yeah, see these larva... They're produced every time you hit them. One is produced every time you hit them. Potion of toxic gas. We're going to keep this going because that's a good way to weaken those larvae. Uh, I didn't know at the time he was immune to fire, but hey, you never know until you try sometimes. He's almost halfway down. About a third of the way down. So what? He's got 200 hit points left. Still, still kind of up there. Stay out of that toxic gas. I'm, uh, I'm definitely the type of guy that likes to just run in and and start killing. That's uh, all my other games have have kind of conditioned me to that. And this is this is more of a strategy game. I mean, most turn-based games are. Lay back in the cut here, see if we can't uh, take out some larva. Uh, and Yogg doesn't move, so that I'm aware of. Eh, can't hurt. You can't hurt him. Exactly, you can't hurt him. <laughs> uh, just at this point, I'm just kind of rolling around, biding my time. I'm gonna see here if I can't get in here and. Uh, what have we got to melee him with? What can we do? Okay, we got a seed of earth root. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I, I, I rave about the seed of earth root. It's a great way to take out bosses, a lot of enemies. If you get into trouble, it's definitely a good strategy. He's almost half dead, which means 150. What's that? Five hits, maybe? Six, seven hits? Seed of earth root usually lasts. I don't know how many turns it lasts, but seven turns? That's what I need. Knew I hit him there because we, it produced that larva, even though I couldn't see him. That was confirmation of that. So here we go. We're going to throw in the Seed of Earthroot. I think I'm far enough out of that gas cloud. I don't think it's going to I don't think it's gonna get me there. So we're just going to step in and do this. See if we can take him out. Nice. Got him. And at that point, I was just ignoring the larva. Uh, and now I'm going to back off and go ahead and take them out. I could, If I had like a potion of invisibility or something, 
I could probably just go around them. Uh, and I, I run pretty fast too with that uh, Ring of Haste plus five, so I could probably outrun them too, but they're very easy to take out if you got decent weapons, and by this time in the, in the pixel, then you should. So there it is. There it is. He's beat. He's out. We're done. Um, this is the amulet of Yendor. So you pick it up, and it gives you some choices here. And uh, at this point, I didn't know, but after doing some research, I have. So what you need to do is pick this up, and then it'll say... Uh, call it a day, or uh, no, I want to continue being immortal for a little bit longer. I don't know here. Let's see. Strong enough to persuade it to do it. Okay, so basically, it's telling you you become a god here when you when you pick this thing up. Let's call it a day, or I'm not done yet. If you if you say let's call it a day, that ends the game. Uh, and technically, you won, I guess you could say you won, and that's what I did here, but actually, what you're supposed to do is pick this thing up and go back through the pixel dungeon in reverse order. Go back all the way through the levels, which will be very easy, especially once you get in, you know, the further you get along, because you're so strong at this point. Um, but then once you get to level one, you hit the staircase, and you leave. It actually lets you leave the dungeon. Uh, if you don't have the amulet of Yendor, it says one does not simply leave the pixel dungeon. But if you do have the amulet of Yendor, it lets you leave, and it'll uh, it'll throw up uh, this screen right here. Um, and depending on what time of day you leave, too, because if it's during the day, it'll throw up this screen and say uh, game over. And if you come up during the night, it'll throw up this screen right here. I didn't know that. I'm gonna put out another video where I do go back through in this series. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, share. That's all I got time for today. Minor Mountain out. Peace!